We just left the monkeys. We're in Nagano at the train station on our way to Osaka. Let's go. We got on the one o'clock train. We got our leftover sushi from last night. We have some snacks from America that the grandparents brought. And now we ride. We have a problem. We just arrived in Osaka at the station and my father-in-law realized that he left his backpack on the last Hello. train. In his backpack, he has his passport, his laptop, his medication. So we're at the JR office now in Osaka, trying to find it, figure it out. Here's the scoop. Things become quite challenging for us. Japan has the together, very organized. We respect the people, we respect the culture. We enjoy being with them. Our family of four young kids, we are a hot mess. We have no manners. We love it here, it's awesome. It just, it's, it's tough for us. We just checked into a very traditional onsen hotel. Also, my father-in-law got his bag. He's on his way back to the other place, so he'll be back in about three hours, but they got his bag. This is called luggage storage. Luggage storage. All right, we're storing our luggage because we're going to Kyoto for the day. Woohoo! All right, we're on the ship then from Osaka to Kyoto. We couldn't get a taxi from our hotel, so we drag our luggage to the station. It took like 25 minutes to walk. And now we just caught the Shinkansen train and having some pancake, coffee, and hoping not to make too much of a mess. Okay. We made it to Kyoto. I bought this like samurai ninja thing and we just rushed so hard from Osaka and it was really hard. Nothing is easy. And the taxi driver could not understand where we wanted to go. So, and we couldn't put all of us in one taxi. So we split up, but now we're here. Well, traveling with four kids, I always try and find fun, interactive, kid friendly things to do. This time, I decided to surprise the kids and I booked a samurai experience at the Samurai and Ninja Museum in Kyoto. They gave us the samurai gear to change into. I'm a samurai. What are you? Okay, we need Hello. to I want to see who knows how to remove the sword. Wait. Can I just keep falling? You look really good as a samurai. Could we, like, uh, buy you an outfit? <laughs> while well, we were taught how to use the gear and the history behind the samurai, which was really cool. When did the samurai get Did you get that one? Oh, no. We didn't have to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> the battlefield got so smoky, you couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. Now, this was an issue for samurai leaders on the battlefield because they need to be... And they got to go listen to what they were talking about. Uh, not too heavy to carry. They can carry all the time. People hear that sound, run into a direction thinking that there's a ninja or something. Please make sure to throw hey, after I say you like can throw it. Hey, which one do you want me to aim for now? <laughs> Guys, it's the trick to getting into stick. Yeah. Okay, nice. Let's go pick it up. Anywhere don't the Now they want to know you. I think that. Three. 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 I got it here. I think that. Pay attention to the rules. What? You can only hit on the body. While we really enjoyed this and they were so kind there, we did not think the samurai experience was worth it because it was so expensive for the experience and it was pretty short. Japan is known for its sushi and our kids have been begging us to take them to a sushi train since we arrived. They saw it on YouTube and were beyond excited to try it out. What we found interesting was that technology played a significant role in the experience. Once we were seated, each color plate on the conveyor belt represents a different price. And an iPad at the table allows for easy ordering of drinks and additional sushi. And so once you order on the iPad, within a few minutes you hear a ding and the plate comes zooming by. And that was like the most exciting thing for the kids. Move, move. Candy sweet oh, potatoes. Oh, there it is. Sweet potato? It's really okay, strange. Okay, pineapple's coming. Pineapple's coming. Oh, we're going on. 
<laughs> Boom. Oh Rice gall. <laughs> Nope. As plates are finished, they're placed in a slot near the table. Three apples. Coca Cola here, so we're trying rice soda. More apple juice. How do we get cold water? It was a truly immersive experience with all the kids and adults alike. We indulged in an hour long sushi feast, spent a little bit more than we intended, but it was worth it for the unique experience. It was mind blowing to see how technology is so advanced in Japan, and we literally felt like we were in the future. We still have a few more days left in Japan, and we have two upcoming episodes that are not to be missed, so please subscribe, and we'll see you later.